Riveted here. Welcome back to another episode of Cube World. Back in the pitch black night. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy back to Cube World Day. Um, it's been a busy, busy, busy couple of days since the last we spoke. So I thought I'd just kind of get you guys updated. Uh, this week uh, uh, might be a little awkward for videos. Just to be up close and... And, uh, you know, completely honest about everything. I'm going to get down to the ground because you can't see squat when you're flying here at night. It just not the best way to travel. Well, that's not the best way to land either, Rivet. Um, yeah, I have a friend of mine in from town, uh, in town from uh, from Halifax. He's uh, visiting me for uh, the week. So he arrived today, which is Saturday as I'm recording this. So he's going to be sticking around. Uh, so we're going to be doing a bunch of running around, goofing off together, and hanging out and stuff. So I won't necessarily have as much free time to record and do the things that I normally would. Uh, I don't think. Um, but we'll see. Um, he's, he's a bit of a loner, too. So he's cool with uh, doing his own thing. And he's been in Montreal before. He used to live here. So he's got a lot of things that he wants to go and do, which is cool. Uh, but again, if he wants to hang out and spend some time and hanging out, but, you know, of course, when you got friends in front of town, it's kind of what you do. You know, you hang out with your friends when, you, when you're given the opportunity. So, yeah, things are good that way. I'm very, looking much, very much looking forward to the week. Um, super tired today. Allergies and everything. Just, yep. One of those days, you just can't seem to get caught up on sleep or anything else. I uh, didn't sleep the best last night either, so... Hopefully tonight I will. Uh, we're going to reset the day so we get out of this stupid perpetual night because it drives me nuts. Let's get in here. It's going to be a big bang sound or a big da dong. There we go. We are back to daylight. Uh, you can rest in our in-between. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. I don't know why you're talking. This is actually a really cool town. I like this one. Kind of spread out. I like the look of it. You know, looks like little mini castles and stuff kicking around. Very cool. Um, Adventurers District. I'm looking for the Trade District. I'm looking. I'm looking for some bottles. I think we're out. I think it's been kind of important for us to get all that situated before we go out and continue trying to wreck things. Um, no real plan or direction for today. No idea what we're going to do, which is cool. I mean, I'm good with this. Let's buy all the bottles we can. God, look at all the crap I've got. <coughs> we could sell everything. Probably what I'll do real quick just to make sure I get it. Um, yeah, that was okay. That's the one I was going to keep. No idea if I'm selling anything worthwhile. I doubt it. We haven't really had any great battles lately, so I'm just going to clear out this area. I'm sure that there's a whole heck of a lot more. Oh god, how much more is there? I don't know when the last time it is I cleaned this out. Oh, not too bad. That's not bad. I'll, I'll do that now. Where is this stuff? Yeah, this is level 26. That's I knew that we'd gone through some pretty easy battles as of late, so it was like, eh. And I don't think I've won any of the really tough ones. And plus, if I do win them, I don't really get much out of it. Uh, is there a water? I need some water. Some agua. Uh, sometimes you can spot it, sometimes you can't. Doesn't look like I can. Let's just take a quick boo. See if we can spot it. At least it's not... You know, super hidden. There we go. There's water. So we're going to fill up these. Go back and grab one more round so we have plenty of bottles. And we're good. So we'll do this. And this is this is, this is what you do. And thank God for that. That is my favorite thing ever. Love that mod. Oh God, I don't know what I'd do without it. I would go insane. All the times I did do dunk, dunk, dunk. dunk the dunk, the dunk, just like one at a time. Oh my god, it's so annoying. So very annoying. Uh, much like this. You know, you can't just hold down and buy them. I would love to say buy, stack, you know, shift and hold. Oh, it'd be heavenly. Heavenly, but it's not what's going to happen. Okay, we're good. We're, we got all the bottles we can get. 
We're out. Is there any boss battles here within walking distance? Uh, okay, so we're going to continue <coughs> heading north. Yeah, for whatever reason, I can't kick this cold um, completely. It just lingers in my chest. I got like, it just, it feels like allergies where you get the, um, like the, the ball of goo around your throat and you're like, uh, and it rattles every now and again and they cough it up and then it's just like within 10 minutes it's back and I'm like, uh, I just feel like I've got a permanent, permanent goo factory going on in my body and I don't like it. Um, now there are a couple of new games that I've been given access by developers. I'm going to try to have one ready for you guys for tonight after I'm done recording this. I'm going to try to record that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, you guys may have seen that Minecraft has resurfaced back on the channel. Uh, we are officially back. Uh, we made Jerkcraft. Uh, so we have a private whitelisted server, uh, just me and some friends. I'm actually, I'm, uh, I'm the one in charge of the server now. So um, I'm the one doing the hosting and taking care of everything. So that's fun, uh, learning a lot about uh, server management and things, which is pretty cool. Um, it's fun. We're just doing mostly vanilla with some data packs and command blocks and things just to kind of ease to make some of the transitional things easier. There's parts of the games that can be really grindy and really annoying. Um, so we've kind of taken some of that and made it a little bit easier. You know, like a mod that I have here where I have, you know, the ability to make bottles faster. I don't find that to be broken. Uh, but I definitely find it to be handy. So those kind of implementations of what we're going to do. So it's not going to be like a heavily modded server. It's going to be slightly different from vanilla. Uh, not with actual mods installed. Just parts of the game that you can alter and make changes to. Which is kind of cool. Uh, our buddy Mark, uh, or that man Zam, you may know him if you've been paying attention to the channel for a while. He's been uh, helping me out immensely by offering me suggestions on what things to implement. Uh, and, you know, it's on an older server, so it's not the best, but it's doing what it needs to do, so which is cool. Uh, white mosquito. Let's see if we get in here. That was good. Oh, one of my favorite things. I love these things. Little slime presents. Those are great. Uh, what are we getting? 3 XP per? Oof, this is rough. I uh, don't think I'm going to pick up anything. I think I'm just going to let it all stay on the floor. Uh, wow, this is annoying. Mages and, and range you. Oh, God. Why? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Delightful. Uh, let's see real quick. Uh, power 17. So yeah, I knew those were going to be too low. Uh, wow, the whole section we didn't need to actually come to. Holy jumping! That was loud, 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 and I love it. Um, there we go. So looks like we're going to be completing this dungeon in record time. Um, so yeah, there have been a, a few games that have been given granted access to by developers. Um, it's been good this last month. Um, I've come across a couple of new sites that uh, are helpful for what I do here. Um, so, you know, more e easier access to some of the developers, uh, opening up lines of communication as well. So, you know, actually talking to them directly instead of using the sites uh, on a couple of titles, just seeing, you know, if I have the opportunity to reach out and see if that's something I can possibly do. And it's been working out okay. Um, I've actually, you know, had some pretty interesting and decent interaction with it. Why did I not... I don't know. You, you rivet, you just got nothing. I got nothing! Uh, so yeah, there... I, I, I gotta double check, see if I'm under any NDAs for stuff right now. I, I know one of them I am, for sure. Uh, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but... Uh, yeah, and the other ones I'm just going to be cautious. I got about four games that I can actually do. One of them I know I can go into details about because it's a little bit of an older title. Uh, it's uh, Surviving Mars. Uh, I got a uh, new version of that one. Um, so very excited to get into that. I, I'm, as you guys may see, I'm kind of into some of the, you know, little building games at this moment. Um, I, I kind of digging them. It's a part of my life I quite enjoy. Um, super enjoyed 
uh, Dragon Age last week. If you guys didn't know, I do a gaming under a dollar on Mondays. And then on Wednesdays, I do Way Back Wednesdays. And yeah, that was so much fun. This week on Gaming Under a Dollar, it's going to be another rehash of last week's. Um, I'm going to pull out a different game this time uh, and give that one a shot. Last week, I played Punch Club. This week, I'm looking at maybe the, doing uh, Speedrunner, or is, it, is that one? Or Final Train, or the Final Station, I think it was. Um, both are really cool. Um, but yeah, the Humble has, they, they got a summer sale going on right now. So there's not a whole lot of deals going on for the bundles. So it's just, uh, right now, it's the same one they've extended it uh, this week. So I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool to me. I'm okay with it. I don't, I'm not going to complain. I mean, give me, give me a break. They're great games from Tiny Build for a buck. If you're interested and want them, they're available. Um, I like Tiny Build. They, they, as a publisher, they usually do games that I dig. Um, I ended up grabbing the entire bundle for that because there's a couple of games that I wanted out of it, and one of them being Cluster Truck, a game I dug uh, watching people play, so I wanted to play it. And I had it on Xbox Game Pass at, for a while, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do it on the PC. Um, so yeah, uh, just big fan. Uh, Hello Neighbor was one of the other ones that was on there. So it's got a bit of mixed reviews. But I kind of dig the concept of it, so I'm going to give it a shot to play it. Don't know if it's ever going to make its way onto the channel, that kind of thing, but who knows. Um, but Party Hard's the other one that was included in that, and I like that Party Hard series. Actually, Armor Time used to have a series on Party Hard. And, hey, well, it's about time you showed up, Moves. Um, so he, he did it, and I loved watching him play that. So it's, for me, it's going to be a little bit nostalgic to actually play a game that I used to watch Armor play which would be kind of cool. Um, it's like when we were first met type of thing. So it's, you know, he was, he, he's an eclectic man too, much like myself, like not just sticking to one game or anything, you know, just enjoying games in general. And I'm, I, I'm all for that. I know we get into grief on YouTube. Uh, they keep telling us that, you know, if you don't stick to a certain thing and you become a variety channel that you're going to fail. And um, I don't care. I really don't. I would much rather play an assortment of video games that pique my interest. I mean, I, I look at it this way. I'm not a variety channel. I play a variety of games. So, I mean, there's a difference. Uh, but I don't think YouTube looks at it that way. They look at it as like, oh, you're a Minecraft channel, or you're a Cube World channel, or you're a Rocket League channel, and those kind of things. Because a lot of folks tend to focus on the games that they love, you know. Um, I can't be so single-minded with games. Um, I've never been that person to just suck into it and that's all I play forever and ever and ever um, even when I played MMOs I always had other games in the background that I was playing goofing off with so that you know my my attention was never just completely enraptured into one title alone I just found that to be boring for me that's just kind of how I feel about it um, so no, no 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 fault to anybody if that's your thing I mean kudos to you if you have the patience to do it I just don't I think that's my other thing is I just don't have the patience for it. Uh, Cube World is the closest thing I have to a long-term game. And I pop in and I play it for like 20 minutes, half hour at a time. So, I mean, it's not, not like I'm investing, you know, time into it to, you know, hone and perfect my craft. I mean, I've, I get as good as I have with it and I'm cool. I'm just, for me, it's just the ex exploration, the adventure. I, I still love that about this game. I think that's kind of why I'm getting into Minecraft again. I don't know. Uh, we're just goofing off and having fun with it. It's, it's just the thing is that there's so many changes in the game as of late um, that it feels like a new game. Uh, there's a couple of new things, like there was a campfire that you can cook food at. There's smokers. There's new tools and things. And <coughs> We haven't played it in so long that there's so much of it that just feels brand new. So even if it has been out in a few of the patches lately, like for us, it feels like it's all brand freaking new. Um, we're digging it, um, you know, and it's a group of eclectic folks. Um, you know, if you've been around my channel, you know who War Never Changes is. You know who Armor Time is. You know who uh, Ordron Kit is. Um, uh, we've also sweet talked our friend Render into joining us. Uh, and Render is a bit of a name on his own. He actually develops maps. Uh, my Raid Caves and there's a series of maps that he's built that are phenomenal uh, and he's got you know a bit of uh, 
a bit of accolade for being a very, very good uh, level designer. And, um, you know, and I adore the fact that we have somebody that's that creative that actually likes to hang out and call us friends. So for me, that's pretty cool. You know, I'm, I'm a little starstruck when I talk to him sometimes, initially. Uh, now I'm cool with it. He's just Brender, right? He's just the guy that we like to hang out with. Uh, and it's good to have him hanging out with us again. So it's really cool. It's been it's been nice. It's a nice treat. To, and, it, you know, even though it's Minecraft, it feels new. And we're all enjoying it again. So there you go. These are very easy today. How much are we getting? One XP? Wow. Like, it's not even... Not even warranting three like I had the last time. That's just kind of sad. So sad. Well, you know, pyramid's a pyramid. I don't care. I'll wreck whatever it is. There you go. How do you like that, jerk? Hey, you? It's like one hit wonders. It's like I'm fighting Chumbawamba. Wait, is that the end of this? Really? That's interesting. Yeah. That's... That was a short little cave, so... Uh, sometimes that happens. You go one side and it doesn't go anywhere. Ah! Hey, you. Okay. Yeah, one of the reasons that I'm so tired today is I actually got to catch up with a, an old friend um, that I I knew in Toronto years ago. I actually um, dated... Uh, we dated for a while and haven't talked and we haven't like been completely out of touch but we haven't you know talked very much uh it's been a little bit and uh she was on my mind so I messaged her last night and we ended up gabbing for most of the evening and talking it was nice it was nice to catch up um you know sometimes you need to just touch base with friends you know no matter um what they meant to you back then or anything you have no idea sometimes of how a conversation with somebody can make changes. Um, like for me, it was just such a nice, nice to catch up. You know, somebody that, you know, I hold, you know, dear in my memories because, you know, of our past and had no, you know, no, no bad memories or anything of her. Um, you know, always just nice, you know, and it was nice to know that the years haven't changed who she was. She's still just a nice, lovely person. And it was good to catch up, and so that was that was nice. Uh, but that I sacrificed a lot of sleep last night to hang out and chat. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Uh, you know, you, you do things every now and again for your friends, and uh, I think we both needed to have that conversation last night. Like I said, it was uh, it was good, good to catch up. Like I said, it's uh, you, you, I needed it. You know, gotta some days you gotta take a look back on your past. You know, I don't live in the past. I try not to, but you have to accept and you know deal with some of the your history from time to time. And, and I had some nagging uh, worries about uh, when we were hanging out together because I don't know if you know I was in the correct mindset when we were together and hanging out. So I just wanted to confirm that everything you know when we were together was what I remembered to be. You know, and you know I you know you worry sometimes if your memories are falter you, but. It was okay. Everything was good. We talked and I found out that, yeah, we were on the same page. How everything, you know, it's just how things ended. That's more or less what I was worried about. You know, I wanted to make sure that we had ended things on a good note because in my mind that we had. And uh, turns out we had, you know, I, my, I was not, you know, blowing smoke up my ass to make myself feel better. But it was, it was cool. It was really nice, um, you know. So, yeah, she was, you know, inquiring and questioning about YouTube and wanting to see, you know, what, what do I need to do to get involved in it. So, that was kind of neat to share a bit of my experience with this. You know, I said, well, you know, all I do is make videos of me playing games for the most part. And I told her about the other channel that I've been working on and piqued her interest. And so, you know, we're, we're going to talk about... Uh, you know, potentially doing some collaborations with each other over some of the. She's a very, very creative person. I and I, I, I'm usually drawn to artistic people, uh, and she's a very artistic person still. And uh, you know, uh, the boyfriend that she's with, they've been together for some time. You know, so everything is on that front is cool and good. So I just wanted to make sure, like, hey, if we hang out together, it's not going to cause any issues or grief. And she's like, nope, we're good. Everything's cool. So. 
if we uh, get together and do some collaborations over distance because she does live in another city, fair distance away from us. So it'd be kind of fun to do collaborative conversations with cameras when neither one of us are in the same room. So I'm looking at doing some stuff. Again, being two creative people, it's going to be interesting to see how we come across it. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get some of our friends locally to <laughs> help facilitate some of the filming and stuff. We'll see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, just e even just attempting the collaboration to see what we can make out of it is uh, more than enough for me. Like I said, friends are very important to me and I like keeping my friends as close as possible. So we did two pyramids. Everything looks good. We are headed this way for no particular reason. Uh, I'm going to end things here because it is hot in my apartment. I don't have my air conditioner on yet. Just have the fan. It's blowing, but it's just blowing warm air from the TV on me and I just electronics are hot in the summertime man oh you just like you feel your monitor and you're like okay that's generating an extra two degrees of heat that I don't need in my day right now <laughs> it's kind of funny how that happens but anyway I'm out I will see you guys in our next episode if you are so inclined and you want to subscribe if you're new here feel free uh, I do put new cube world content up every Sunday every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern uh, also, there are videos every day at 2 and 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you are so inclined and you like it, feel free to join in and uh, leave a comment. Let me know why you're here or what you think. It doesn't matter. But it's nice having you all here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for all.